Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and on this channel we focus mainly on graphic design. And today we're going to be looking at another brief box. Brief. It's another music industry and this one has a magazine. So we're going to be creating this brand identity and then a magazine. And this brand is called Scene and it's looking for an edgy forward thinking vibe. So yeah, let's get started. So I have these four fonts selected already, which I think fit quite nicely with um, an edgy and forward thinking vibe. Two of the fonts at the top are exactly the same, except one is in caps and one is in not. Although I don't think the one in caps really works. The third font is quite funky and fun and that could really easily fit into like an edgy forward thinking brand. And finally the fourth font, it's, it's definitely less out there, although it's still, there's something about it, it's quite wavy and I think this could be a, a good font to fit with the edgy and forward thinking. Although, at the moment, I wasn't sure exactly which font to go with, so I decided to choose the free, as I thought they could easily fit with this forward-thinking vibe that we are going for. So, the way to try these fonts out was by, first of all, I was seeing how they would look if they were wavy, as I really liked the wavy factor of the final one but it was a little bit too much and then next I decided to just add some colour to them and see how they would look with the colours that I would like to go for. That was my dog, <laughs> if you could hear that, it was right next to the camera. Um, anyways, I was thinking of using quite bold out there colours. As you can see the first colour that I go for is this really bright yellow which I think it's quite out there, I think it's quite edgy and I think it could work quite nicely. And I also had um, in mind to use this green and it's it's definitely out there. I think it, when I think of edgy, I think of this green, which I think it fits very nicely. Then I find some, oh, that's my dog. <laughs> going off the window ledge. Um, anyways, then I find some nice matching colours. So with the green I go for the pink, which is on the opposite spectrum of the, the wheel. Um, and I decide to go with the final font, which was the bit of a wavy one. And I think it was definitely a good decision. It definitely fit with the vibes I'm going for. They were all quite good, but I think this one is a, a little bit different and I thought it really fits with this vibe. And next thing that I'm doing is creating a logo variation. So I decided to stack the words seen on top of each other. So we have the SE at the top and then the EN at the bottom. And I think it's a bit of a, a, bit of a different uh, variation and I think it was quite nice. And then I created a bit of an illustration of an eye is obviously the the brand is called scene and I thought it could work you know quite nicely and I wanted it to not look like a just like um a, a normal eye I wanted it to look a bit edgy I tried a couple of different variations of the eye having the um the sides sharp and then I decided to spread them out which worked very nicely it was it was just quite edgy and I thought I wasn't going for like a a realistic view of an eye. I wanted it to be clearly an eye, but I wanted it to be quite edgy to fit with the brand. Um, so yeah, then I changed um, the colours accordingly, and yeah, this is the first logo variations. Next, I will be getting some photography, and what I do with the photography is add the logo on top of the photography in an attractive manner. So this is just a trial and error sort of thing. And yeah, I try and use all of the variations that I've created. 
sometimes they don't work, sometimes things, you know, don't work out as well. And when choosing the photography, again, I'm going for this edgy feel and I decided to go for the photo photography that contained neon lights. And, you know, I feel like neon lights really fit with like an edgy feel and it definitely fits with the branding that I'm already created there. And to explain basically the choices behind these specific pictures right here, the lady on the left side, there's a bit of an effect on her where you can see two of her, which I thought is a very nice effect. Then you have the older lady, which I thought was a very interesting thing to add, as usually you don't see, sorry again, that's my dog. Um, it's usually you don't see all the ladies in these sort of magazines, they're not, they're not really featured. And I thought it could be something nice to include as, as the way I view this brand is basically the unseen and now seen. And then you have this guy that has uh, prosthetics, prosthetic arms. And again, it's one, it's a really cool photo and I thought it could be, you know, another person that may not be seen in this sort of industry and the way I see this magazine is including everyone and it's a very inclusive um, magazine. And whilst we are here, I'd like to just quickly say if you are enjoying this video and like what's happening, please give a like, subscribe, comment and yeah, let's carry on going into the video. <laughs> And yeah, I decided to go with um, the lady on the left as the cover picture. Unfortunately, there was a bit of a problem in Illustrator when I added this photo in. No matter how I added it, it changed the colour of the actual green. So I had to move it into Photoshop and make it on the mock-up itself. And then I got into InDesign to create the actual spreads of the magazine. And the first thing that I'm going to have on the... And the first spread is the first lady and I have another photo, photo of her. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get into InDesign to create the actual spreads. And, oh sorry, my dog is... There we go. Um, so let's create the spreads in InDesign. And the first slide well, the first spread of paper is going to be the first lady and as you can see, I have a picture of her touching the mirror and I want the picture to be very bold, I want it to be really out there so I decided to cover the whole page with it and regarding the actual, you know, layout on the other side I wanted to look a little bit different, there's a couple things that I was trying out but in the end I decided to go with this um, splitting the paragraphs in two in this sort of layout rather than in columns or it's something that I, I haven't seen and I thought it could work very nicely and it's definitely different and the next thing that I'm gonna do is another spread with the older lady and here I have two photos of her and I use another colour from the colour palette and I really like this layout. One of the biggest things that I like about it is the repetition. So I'm not I'm not using any actual words in the paragraphs but I'm using words in the actual header. So the header for this I decided was ages just number and I decided to repeat that on the second slide so you have it on both sides and I thought it's quite nice, it's a quite nice touch. And the final spread is an up and coming artist. So I have a couple more photos which will include the guy from previous as well, as well as a couple other photos just to include in there. And again, you have a nice layout, really easy to read. I decided to move one of the photos around because there was text on this side and text here and there was too much text so I decided to swap the pictures around. So the pictures here and the text is here and text is here if that makes sense. Um, so yeah I think you know that this is the the final product and finally I'm just gonna mock it up and just to quickly show you what I'm doing I'm not gonna show you the whole process of it is 
it's a lot of repetition but I'm just changing the colour of the background as I thought it was a bit boring so I'm giving this a little bit of a um, this pinky colour background and I'm adding some shadow just to add a little bit more realism to this picture and yeah this is the final product and And if you have any suggestions about next videos, I'll definitely write that down. I read all of the comments, it's really nice to see the a lot of positivity in there. And yeah, I'll see you next time. And just before I go, let me just uh, plug my Instagram in here. If you'd like to follow my Instagram, it's at Buzzy Graphics. And I think it could be quite helpful. You can see my work in pictures as well, just a uh, day before if you are interested as well as I do some reels about like just business and marketing tips you know I'm also thinking of doing some um, reels about like graphic design tips I'm still thinking about it I'm still thinking of what I'm going to actually create but it's definitely something that I'm going to do so yeah if you want to have some tips coming soon on Instagram and at the moment I can't do any polls on um, YouTube so if there's anything coming up, I'll definitely have it on my Instagram. So if you could follow me and if maybe I have, you know, any choices to make, it'd be really nice to hear your opinions on that is right now I don't have the requirements to do that on YouTube. Anyways, that's a very long outro, so I'm going to go now and I'll see you next time. And yeah, it'd be nice to